Good morning everybody and this is your Dow Jones day trade setups for today. I just want to start off on the weekly chart just to highlight something. So you can see we had this massive uh, inside bar here a couple of weeks ago where you've been flirting around going sideways and the buyers have been coming in and now we've been left with an engulfing and a pin bar on the weekly. That is a pretty bullish sign. So you know what we're looking for is an opportunity to buy into it and we kind of at a level you can see there's a previous uh, swing high so if you come down to the levels that we're interested in you'll see a couple of things here so firstly oscillators and eight are our group to the upside uh, the moving averages do are concerning me at the moment because they're not really looking like they're crossing over just yet and I'm more interested in the 33 and the 66 right now so I need to see that crossover and then we can get across the uh, 155. So the setup that I see here is not uh, doesn't fill me with much excitement right now. If we start looking at the lower time frames, three hours is a different story. We're above the 155. We do look like we're having a crossover. So I want to see pullback onto structure. And right now, the closest structure that I'm interested in would obviously be the gap. So let's get down to the hour. So remember these weekly gaps are often they more often than not get closed so i know your know, asia is up at the moment oil is up which is why we're kind of in this uh, situation but i would expect some kind of a pullback on the structure and uh, that's kind of the zone that i'd be looking for so 34 820 or alternatively 34 743 so pull back into there uh, see if we start getting some bullish price action then you're looking for a stop below the low of friday and you're looking for a continuation to the upside. So that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, lastly, let me just highlight that. So there is the one level of um, this uh, channel. You can see it lines up pretty nicely. And I could probably line it up even further down there, but that offers the most structure at the moment. So yeah, you can see pullback onto either one of these lines, depending where in the day we get to it, would test the bottom of uh, this one hour channel as well. And that would be an opportunity to buy. So that's kind of my view at the moment on uh, the Dow Jones, waiting for the pullback and then we're looking to buy on the pullback. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.